Oh, he's in the Barbie, brother. Let's go straight on Facebook. Uh, hey. How are you? Hello. Good morning. You just made my blog, brother, for zestiness. It's what? Doing 11.30 a.m. Smuggling some food in. I'm smuggling, yeah, I'm smuggling some food in, bro. I'm smuggling some food in. Like, these, these guys charge me, they charge me bloody $50 a ticket in the Philippines, bro, which smuggling some food in. That's part of the game. I don't want to pay for things like uh, candy bar what prices. What happens when you watch it on the very day? Man, I made a bit of money in my life as well. I, I had 12 financial planning franchises at one stage, right? But I'm still smuggling food in, brother. So I, I was born in housing commission. I was born in like uh, in the projects in England, you know, like council estates. So I'm always going to be a bit ghetto, bro. I'm always going to be a bit ghetto, bro. It doesn't matter how much money I have. I'm, always, I'm never going to stop. My mates are like, my mates are like, you smuggle food in the cinema? Don't you own a financial planning license? I was like, yeah, bro. I still smuggle food in the cinema, bro. I was like, bro, do you have a 9XL Dune t-shirt? And they were like, no, mate, we don't have a 9XL Dune, but we have XL. I was like, well, we're about eight sizes too small. It's my love. I don't know, bro. People are marrying these girls, right? But they're all ugly. I'm like, why would you come to the Philippines and get an ugly girl? They're a little bit overweight and ugly. I'm like, come on, mate. It's true. That's very true. I forgot. Sorry. I can't get through. You can't get British, brother. British. It's British. A British robot. A British robot in the Philippines. I'm Addy. Let me help you with your grocery needs. I'm blocking this robot. Could you please make way for me? I can't get through. All robots are banned in Dune, by the way. Check it out. Uh, they've got a pig, mate. These vegetarians go crazy in my country. Look at that. There's a bougie mall, brother. It's a bougie mall. Hello, mate. This boy's been to Sydney, right? You're in Sydney. How long are you in Sydney for? Uh, like 17 days. Do you like Australia? Yes. Ah, it's clean. Clean, right? Hey, can I swap this for a medium for my girlfriend? Thanks, mate. And you went to Brisbane as well? Yes. Did you like Brisbane or Sydney better? Sydney. Ah, Sydney. Top G. That's good. My vlog would have gone crazy if you'd said Brisbane. That's how I have 2,000 subscribers. I did that 2,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Heaps of subscribers, mate. We're getting like 100 every couple of days. It's crazy, right? But because before, I just finished with cancer, and I was like, oh, I'm a bit fat. I'm a bit bald. Like, who wants to see me, mate? You know what I mean? Like, um, anyway, so I just thought, you know what? Well, I didn't even want to be on camera. Like, look, my hairline, when I did chemo, my hairline suffered so badly, and still, my hair, I was going to shave my head, mate. My hair, since chemo, my hair's never really come back, right? But, um, but anyway, look, at the end of the day, I thought, who cares, mate? You only live once, right? So I'm just fat, bald, whatever. I'm just going to start making videos. And if people like them, they like them. If they don't, say la vie, mate. Don't watch, brother. But people obviously like them. They're subscribing. So, yes, it's been good. But when I get someone who's like, oh, can I see a thing? Well, I subscribe them, brother. I like, I subscribe them straight away. You know what I mean? Straight out, bro. Subscribe. They're like, oh, you already subscribed. Of course I did, bro. You think I found it for nothing? There's the candy bar. Hello. There's the candy bar. God, I feel so much better that she's wearing a mask. Oh my gosh. What if she wasn't wearing a mask? You know what I mean? Relax, bro. You're going to work. Oh, just wear a mask. She's not wearing a hairnet, but she's wearing a mask. Does that make sense to you? No hairnet. She's preparing food. No hairnet. But, oh, better wear my mask. There's the mall, bro. It's kind of bougie, I like this mall. It's kind of bougie, right? What's your favourite part of the movie? I would say it's when the worms are coming out. I get really scared because of like those teeth, like thousands of teeth in his mouth. And it's so massive. It's so cool. Yeah. It gives me chills every time I see those yeah. massive, massive worms. How about you? Uh, I like the knife fight at the end. The fight scenes are not... Mm, yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, you know, so, um, oh, the special effects were unreal. The special effects were unreal. But, 
Um, I don't know if you know this, but Star Wars ripped off Dune. So, uh, in Return of the Jedi, when Luke is going to be thrown into the desert and eaten by the worm, that's basically a rip-off of Dune. Like, a lot of it was a rip-off. A lot of Star Wars was a rip-off of Dune. So, there you go. Why don't you say the Kazarak? Kazarak. was like a, like a superior being, like a, like a space Jesus, basically. It was like a, yeah, it's like a space Jesus. It's the name so, of our Wi-Fi. Yeah, my Wi-Fi is I am the Kwisak Satarak, or uh, are you the Kwisak Satarak? That's my Wi-Fi. Are you the Kwisak Satarak? That's my Wi-Fi name. So you have to be a massive Dune nerd to 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 uh, to pick that up, right? But Dune's been very influential. It's a very old book. It's like it's kind of like Lord of the Rings uh, in many ways. It's very very old. Old the Star Wars. Everything's so scammy in the Philippines. Like they charge us eleven hundred, right? Which is like, well, it's. D double then some of any IVAX, right? And then they give you like the smallest like thing of lychee juice, right? Uh, like which is you know and not even coke, and they, it's small, you know. And it's like dude, you just charge me eleven hundred. They throw you a t-shirt in a bag, and they go, oh, well, the, the, there's the there's the rest of the money. And you're like, oh, what a scam, bro! What a scam! It's not the rest of the money. I'd rather just pay the five hundred. Well, let's check how much is it in motivation. Yeah, it's gonna be five hundred. Just a bloody scam, mate. Just another scam for me, mate. I don't mind, but it's just a lot of scams, bro. There's a lot of scams. Check this guy out. It's a lot of scams, bro. Like, the, I don't really want a bag that says Dune. Anyway, I've got one, and it costs, you know, so it costs 60 bucks for two tickets. And this is a third world country, you know, it's crazy. Anyway. The thing is, a Filipino laborer would have to work three days to watch that movie. That would be a salary for three days. That's why I told you, why are you wanting to go there, like watching it there? They know Filipino will go there. They're yeah, Filipinos gonna, won't go there. They're not going to be, get out, they're going to be, there's not going to be out of ticket for you. It's no Filipino will afford I them. feel bad for the poor Filipinos that go there with their girlfriends then. Oh, I'll pay for my girlfriend to take the movies. And they realize, oh, it's 2,200, which is like a week's wages for them. You know what I mean? Like, that's like, yeah, it's like us paying $500 or $1,000, like relatively, you know, understand? Check it out, Met 500, Beauty of the Grows. That's whitening, that's a whitening product. Glutathione. Glutathione, so you can get whiter. They love to be whiter. There you go. Here's another chick, what's this? Anchor, what's that love? Anchor Lamb. Do you notice how the celebrities are all so white? Everyone's all so, everyone the posters and TV, everyone's so white. And then you get to the Philippines and people look like Jessica, right? Right, love? Beautiful, beautiful like Jessica. People look beautiful like you love. The common people look beautiful like you love. You know, the Philippines is really the tale of two cities. There's the people with money. Like we're taking the Skyway, right? This is peak hour traffic. We're on the Skyway, bro. Like it's just, um, and the Skyway might cost twenty. But like sometimes we'll spend thirty dollars on the Skyway, right? And um, we well, can afford to, so we don't have to sit in traffic. And then there's the other people that can't afford thirty dollars on the Skyway, and they just live a very different life, right? Love, don't they? They live a very different life, right? So the people that have money, the haves and the haves nots, they live a very different life, you know. But it motivates me to work hard, earn money, you know, get more qualifications, and um, yeah, it's just, just it just motivates me to study and work, you know, just work harder. This is Cavite. I don't know if it's really Manila, but there's an IMAX here, so. We're gonna go find the IMAX. Watch Dune, brother. This looks bougie. Anyway, that's my story. So that's how I. I know. I look. I love the Pentecostal Church. I just have some questions. I still have a big love in my heart for Pentecostal Church. I just have some doubts if Jonah was in a whale. That's all. But I do have a lot of love for the Pentecostals and the Pentecostal Church. And when I do meet a Pentecostal Christian, there is a bit of a like a, a thing, like a bond between us. But yeah. This is Bougie as love. This place Bougie as love. Oh, it smells bougie. This oh, place smells nice. It looks kind of like Thailand mall. Like Thailand mall. She's like, I don't speak like that. Check it out. This is Bougie as brother. All right, where's the IMAX? Like? We need to find the IMAX.
But the one thing I've got to be thankful is I grew up in housing commission, like a council estate in, in England. And when I met the Pentecostal Church, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they were like, um, they were like, mate. They were like, we're all equal. We're all here to make money. You know, like they were just on it, mate. And they, they weren't like, are oh, you like this class, that class? There's none of that, mate. There was none. Of that. I love that about the Pentecostal Church. They were just like, let's get it, let's get it, mate. Let's get it. We're all, we're all humans under God. Let's go get it. You know, no one was better than anyone else. It was really good. So there's a lot of good things about the Pentecostal Church. It's a very good network. I did miss it. I did miss church. W A N K E R. The cinema's here. Now open IMAX with laser. What's IMAX with laser? What does that mean, bro? I don't understand what that means. The 98 inch OLED TV. What's that cost? Right, so I've got a, I've got a like a 78 inch or 80 inch, uh, 86 inch. I've got an 86 inch in my living room, and I've got like a, a couple of other 75 inch and 76 inch. So 76 inch. Was that? No, we don't stay. Okay, this is the cinema. Why would I wear a t-shirt for Dune? Dune's hot, mate. It's in the desert. Come on, mate. I'm dressing appropriately, thematically, okay? Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Isn't that, what, what do you, is there a new Star Wars movie? Is there a new Star Wars movie coming out? Ah. Uh. Yeah, IMAX with laser. IMAX with laser, brother. Yeah, the bag, bro. The bag? The dune bag, brother. Yeah. Oh, we're getting literally souvenirs, bro. Oh, they have a t-shirt as well. But well, what size is it? You have 9XL? <laughs> of course they don't have 9XL, brother. I think. Ah. I think some t-shirt What size is the t-shirt? A t-shirt and a bag. The biggest that? one is XL. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. I'm going to use the bag. Then you got a nerd bag. Okay. Cool. So look, it's all Westerners. All Westerners watching Doom, bro. <laughs> no. So I got my bag. I got my cheesy bag. Love. This is double the price. This is double the price of Pompanga. Pompanga is like four hundred. This was one thousand one hundred each. But this was like. So oh, this is like sixty dollars. Yeah, fair enough. You should have gotten the t-shirt though. This is oh, it's swap it. You had you take the t-shirt. Well, I got a t-shirt. No, oh, you got one as well. Yeah, one t-shirt and one bag. Okay, okay. You... Oh, check it out. Do you want to eat first or? Then well, what time is it now? It's ten fifteen. Hey, so this is the cinema. How bougie is this, brother? Look at this. Bougie, brother. Bougie. So this is um. This is about $60. This is like $30 a ticket, I think. That's all right. No problem, bro. No problem. But we've got t-shirts. We've got a bag. We've got all this stuff. But in Angeli City, this is only $500 a ticket. But yeah, anyway, what are you going to do? The sign in Rhinos. We aim to please, you aim to please. They're saying don't piss all over the floor, mate. That's what they're saying. It's another insidious movie. These movies are shit, mate. They're d Bro, the guy's a scammer, bro. They've proven the guy who Insidious movies are based on is a scammer, bro. He's a massive scammer. Come on, mate, relax. They, they're like, oh, this guy was possessed by 22 demons. Real story, real story. It's not a real story. It's all bullshit, mate. It's all bullshit. Right? You're a noob. You're gullible, bro. If you think that's true, you're gullible. Anyway, look at this Ninja Turtles. A little mermaid. I don't know, they just keep these uh, things, I think. Dune, bruh, that's what I'm gonna watch. Dune. I am so excited, bro. I'm so excited to watch Dune. I am so excited. So excited. Ghostbusters, I'll watch that as well. Where's cream cake? Looks like it's been Oh okay, yeah, let's go to the supermarket, let's get some stuff. Oh, Krispy Kreme, brother. Don't go crazy. Everything here is a bit more expensive than it should be. USA. I think it's the food they're 
mostly uh, imported. So this is a Coke from the US. We have Canada, Canada so this is a lot more expensive than the Coke. So this is Coke from the US, Cherry Coke. I've never, I've never tried Cherry Coke, but I assume it tastes like dog shit. This is original Coke. This is a lot cheaper. I'm gonna take the Filipino Coke because I'm a cheap Charlie, bro. What? We don't have it here. It's all US. What is it? Snapple, orange mango. Never heard of it. It's expensive. Jeez, for a drink. Relax. Stella Lager. That's what the British drink for their headbutt you or break a glass in your head. <laughs> sorry, sorry, British people. It's true though. You drink lager, you headbutt people and break glass on their head. Pancakes, bro. These pancakes. This next quick syrup. This, I, I haven't seen this stuff in Australia. This is not from Australia. This is like all American stuff. So, nutter butter. Sounds like a Bloody pervert, right? Nutter butter. Check it out. Oh, this is good. I've never seen any of this stuff. This is all American. It's all American, bro. I love the Americans, mate. It's so good. This is super fresh. This is a Coke from the US. What? Yeah, they're, they're only my favorite chips, and there's no European chips. Have small ones. Yeah, get one of those then. Get one of those. It's not gonna fit in the bag. You know you're fully bougie when you're buying this. Summit parking water. You know you're you just fully bouged out mate when you're buying this stuff. I might buy one of these, fully bouge out mate. I'm getting the car cola from the back, I've unstacked it all. Yeah, one photo. Going right to the back and getting car cola. So I'm gonna hide so I'm gonna declare the food, but I'll hide this. Then I'll take it in. What's that? It's called Black Mamba. Check that out. Do you want this or not? Do you want this or not? Yeah, but I want some non-ice chips as well. This one is American chips, barbecue, smoked barbecue. Okay, all right. Okay. So I'm smuggling in a Coke, see that? I smuggle it in. I'm swapping my Dune t-shirt here for a medium. I'm gonna be like, look, it's too big for me. It doesn't fit, I need a medium. I need a medium, I've lost a lot of weight. Planning to do some running, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, love, right? Yeah. Let's go to the Tridents. Let's go to the Tridents. This is a pretty cool cinema. Have a drink. This is a 1100 peso ticket. Relax. This is the IMAX. So we're going to see Dune. Logging. Hey. So IMAX is going to see Dune. Look at this screen, brother. Oh my God, it's huge. The screen's huge. These are all the IMAX people. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of dark. The screen's huge, bro. Look at that. It's a massive screen. Bro, I'm at IMAX and they gave me lychee juice. I feel like I'm a victim. This is the worst things that have happened to me. They gave me lychee juice. It's disgusting. Can you finish it off? No, Luckily, I bought Coca Cola. I'm gonna pour it in. So, yeah, Ugh, lychee juice. Check it out. Yeah, so we saw Dune. Uh, Dune uh, 2 it was good, bro. It was good. It was like lots of special effects as long. It was only three hours. But it was good, yeah, really good. Did you guys see it? It's really good. Really uh, great special effects. You know, it was what it was. Um, they set up for a third one. They've set up really well for a third one. So it should be good. I, I mean, I think a third one could be good. I don't know how that'll go. I can't, I'm just kind of trying to remember the third book. It's been a while, mate. It's been a while since I read those books. So uh, yeah, I can't even remember what happened in the third book, but yeah, they set up for a third one. It's good. Actors were good. Everything was good. It's what a great cast. Great actors, great director. Uh, it was a really good movie. Best movie I've seen probably this year. The guy that made that movie, the director, he's a master director, mate. Uh, he is literally a master director. The vision he had for it, just the special effects and stuff like that. Uh, this is Kavite, love, right? Huh. Yes, this is Kavite, so it's kind of nice. That was a bougie shopping really? center for Filipino standards. Were you selling La Paz? So I was saying the guy that produced this movie, the director for Dune 2, he, he had such attention to detail, like the costumes and the, the, the machines just looked realistic. They looked like as realistic as a tractor, you know, like the realism of it, 
like when the um, like the machine was like on a tank track and like there was like dust on the tank track but you know when the the, the like the uh, you know the, the tank tracks were moving there was dust coming over it looked like the things looked old and worn and like it was good it was good so the believability was a lot more now you watch like say for instance wheel of uh, wheel of time right watch it on Amazon now everyone looks like they just got all their they just got all their costumes from a department store like they've never been worn so and we just yeah this way love this way this this car. Yeah, yeah I think so yeah, yeah well, that's what it says so yeah um so yeah everyone looks like it's just um it's just everyone looks like they've just got to have a department store you know what I mean everyone looks like they just got to have a department store so it's not realistic it's you know there's nothing worse than we watching a thing and two things that really make Holland realistic when clothes look brand new like everyone in the village is wearing brand new clothes the beggars are wearing brand new clothes everyone's wearing brand new clothes the clothes are unworn right that's the first thing second thing is when they drink coffee and there's nothing in the cup nothing like is worse than that like the actors are like, such a good actor I'm just gonna drink nothing in the cup we couldn't tell bro we can see that there's nothing in the cup you're drinking nothing in the cup plus there's nothing in the cup I don't know why directors do that it's such a rookie mistake but that's one of my bugbears when I watch um, movies and films that, that there's nothing in the cup or I'm not sure what they're building here maybe it's great in the mall or something like this guy's house they really have dug up right on his house they really dug up right on his house he's gonna have a road right on his house check it out there's a funny thing about the Philippines that was a bougie mall so I was like we paid $60 for our IMAX tickets so now you've got this like uh it's a bit slummy here like the squatter area it's the most expensive ticket yeah that was a kind of that was an expensive ticket yeah that was like uh one there was 1100 pesos each so we paid 2200 so it's, I think it's only 60 bucks we paid for the two tickets so that's kind of crazy and they gave us all this crap and for 60 dollars we got a free light juice they didn't even give us a coke like a very small light juice coke. They say, said, oh, this is the free one. Yeah, 60 bucks, mate. It's not free. We paid $60 a ticket, uh, six dollars for two tickets. But that's right, still cheaper than my country, mate. Uh, I reckon that'll be 40 50 bucks in my country each ticket. Drive through Starbucks, mate. It's kind of bougie when you got drive through Starbucks. That's a bit bougie, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. This was an hour from the house, so it was good. So, th this place is really nice, right, Cavite, but I've heard this is like one of the most crime-ridden areas in Quezon City, but have you heard this is a really crime-ridden area, love? Yeah. So, it must be another part. This all looks very bougie, right? It must be like in the bougie yeah. part of town. Yeah. This must be the really bougie part of town, right? I'm sure if you go downtown, it wouldn't be so bougie. Check it. Houses look nice. Those houses look nice. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks nice, man. There's a lot of uh, in the, uh, A lot of what? A lot of subdivisions and houses here. Yeah. So this is Jessica. She had, you have to prepay your toll. So she's getting a, a like an e-tag, but she's got to prepay it. So because I don't trust you to pay it, so you've got to kind of prepay it. So it's kind of weird, but that's how it works. All right, installing the RFID. Dressed like a ninja. It might be a part-time ninja. You never know. Dude movie, that Timothy Charlemagne kid, he killed it, dude. Killed the role. Like, he was all like, Ooh, up and down, up and down. And then he was like, boom, something happens in the movie. I won't give you the plot away. But he was like, boom, he was full on. Like, he just, he flipped the switch. Such a good actor, bro. He was a good actor. I liked him. I, he was in a movie called The King uh, on Netflix. We played this King of England. He, he's a good actor, mate. I've been watching him for a while very charismatic mate a bit skinny but very charismatic mate you know what I mean like um, yeah hi sir hello how are you just take the go for it bro he's installing the RFID so we can just drive through and have to stop and pay the tolls Oh, 
okay. Thank you, Claire. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. Done. We're told friendly in the Philippines. Thank you, Mbilis. All right. I think it's done. Thank you, Kuya. So you put a thousand on it, did you love? No. How much? Uh, there's 462 in there. Okay. I love this guy. Ikea. So she, she said, I don't need the card. It's just my back up. Can you put it back, please? Uh, Jessica carries alcohol. She drinks this. So they automatically swipe it, so I just have to Bubby, um, can I okay. ask a question? So Are we going to some more? Uh, Ikea is 13 minutes away, love. Let's go yeah. there. So Jessica bought a car and there was a toll balance owing on the car. So the guy ran the tolls up and he sold the car. That's hilarious, mate. So, Jessica, so Jessica has to so pay I have his to tolls. Settle it before uh, they, they stole me a new one. But this one's under my name now, not his account. Is the car in your name or not? Yeah. That's hilarious. So, so that's hilarious. So the guy ran up the tolls or something. Because he just ran the plate number. Oh, miss, you have a balance. This car has a balance. The old sticker right there. They can see. They just have to type your. Um, they just have. There's to always some it. scam in the Philippines, bro. There's always some scam. People selling you stuff that's you know. They're, they're, How they have they money get on. away with a the balance? They, they shouldn't be opening the. the you should contact bag. him. And tell him to send you I the don't, money. Though. He sleeps in America. Now. I don't I paid for it. I care, love. I paid for it. Yeah, but I'm gonna pay you back. Oh, sure. Like you always do, love. Well, I always do, Ian. Like I'm you always do. Like every time you've ever paid me back. When did I ever borrow money from you? When did you ever pay me back? When did I ever... Oh, uh, I don't know. When did you ever pay me back <gasps> is the question. I'm in the wrong place. Listen. Oh, when did shit, you... I'm in the wrong place. That's right. We'll be right. I'm supposed to go there. Oh, no, listen. God. I'm not asking when did you ever borrow money. I'm asking I'm when did you ever pay me place, back. Please, love. I'm there. She deliberately took the wrong turn. She doesn't talk about the subject. I'm not kidding. I'm just joking, bro. Oh, look what you've done. Like, now it's 44 minutes. Check it out. Heading to Manila. Hey, it's heading to Manila. We're going to go to Ikea, maybe the aquarium, maybe the zoo. And then I'm heading home soon. So it's a bit of a trek. To Manila. Is this the way I'm on? So things are way cheaper in the Philippines than Thailand, right, love? Like, it, it, it's like half the price, man. Like Burger King, half the price, right? Like, uh, it's, everything's half the price, mate. I can't think of one thing that's more expensive in the Thailand than the Philippines. There's literally nothing. Maybe Thai food. <laughs> yeah, their food right? is, their street foods are really uh, cheap. Yeah. But if you compare it to Filipino food, it's still a lot. So I was, I was saying to people, don't eat greens in Thailand because you get really sick. And this American guy, he's got a YouTube channel, he's got like 5,000 followers. He goes, man, I eat greens all the time, I've never been sick, what are you talking about? I was like, brother, why would you not Google it before you like say to me that's not true? Why would you not Google it? Like, you Google it, every forum says, don't eat greens in Thailand, don't eat greens in Thailand, when they wash the water, blah, blah. Why would you just attack? Why would you say, no, no, it's not true without researching it? He's a he's an older guy, probably just doesn't know how to use the internet, you know what I mean? Like, doesn't know how to use the internet or whatever, but yeah, I was like, oh gosh. Why wouldn't you Google things, man? Why wouldn't you check it before you start? I really have an experience with this one. Yeah. Okay. Because I have a Asian stomach, but then I had a really bad yeah. stomach pain. Thailand, yeah. Because, the, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the Philippines as well, sometimes the, when you go to these street stores, just look out the back, try to look out the back, look at that cleanliness. There's water there. They have a thing yeah. with their water. So we're going to the largest mall in the Philippines called the Mall of Asia and then we're going to the largest Ikea in the world, okay? So large mall in uh, in the Philippines and large Ikea in the world. If we watch, it, if we watch the movie there, it would have been a 3D. Yeah. With no, it was no 3D. Chair. It was no 3D. What do you mean? They didn't shoot the movie in 3D. Are you sure? Yeah. Because yeah. the girl said to me, we don't have 3D here. Because So I'm expecting there's 3D somewhere. No, no, the movie wasn't shot 3D. What's that love? What's this? Star Wars, man. Where's my 
that was a bit of a scam. So usually it's 500 pesos, which is like 20 bucks. So I think we paid like $40 each. Yeah, no, no. Do the thing is. No, no. Is it? It is. It's like a premier. Wow. No, look. So usually in Angeli City, tickets are like 480 or something, right? Here they were 1100 and we got a t-shirt and a lychee juice. I was like, oh, okay. And a bag. Yeah, a bag. So it was a bit of a scam, bro. It was a bit of a scam. But anyway, I wouldn't go back there. Check it out. Oh. Well, guys, please subscribe, share if you like, and <coughs> hit the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next vlog. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.